Hello guys and welcome to Arcon Welding. My name's Calvin and I am a coded MIG welder from the UK. I MIG weld low carbon steel pipe work and occasionally I will dabble in a bit of TIG welding. I usually do a bit of stainless steel fin wall but this week's video is going to be fun for me. I will send over a, a stainless steel kit from my friend on Instagram called Ricardo. Now this kit here was laser cut. All I had to do was put it together and weld it up. So for that I bought myself a new welding shroud from the guys over at Sphinx. I won't lie to you, I probably butchered that but I really can't pronounce that word. I also picked myself up some polishing pads. So I wanted to do a mirror finish on this stainless steel but I've never done anything like this before. I've never used a shroud bigger than a size 8. I've also not um, tried to polish any stainless steel too. It came out okay but I did not have enough time to finish it off. So I only polished part of one surface of the diamond. If I had more time then I would have been able to bring it all up a bit better. But I learned a lot of things along the way doing this. One was something simple as the technique to fab it together. I was doing a triangle, the small triangle and like an idiot I um, didn't realize the simplest way of tacking it together. I done it in two parts and I folded them and tried to make it a certain angle and then match them together. And that's the worst way I could have done it. It's pretty simple to make the triangle. You're gonna see in, in the next cut how it was just simply a triangle in the middle and then another triangle touching each three of its corners and then tacking it and then bringing it all together like closing it like a flower almost and then finally attack at the top. So the reason why I went for this type of shroud that I've got is because gas coverage really important when you're trying to have pretty looking welds. So I'm not going to pretend like I know exactly what I'm talking about. I just know that the more gas that covers your welds for longer until it cools down, the better. So that's why the, the cup's so big. My original plan was to just leave the welds as they were with the nice beautiful colours in it and then just polish the surface of the, the kit. But I didn't have the skill to leave the welds looking how they were so I had to grind them off. And yeah, if I had more time it would have come out a lot better. It came out good but this just goes to show that this type of finicky kind of um, pretty type of welding isn't my, that's not my go-to. I'm too heavy handed to do this type of delicate type of work so what I will call acceptable for a finish for a lot of people they may disagree but tacking together the diamond soon I'm gonna make a mistake and that's running out of gas my gauge was broken I thought I had more gas than I actually had so yeah I had to quickly make a run down to the, the welding supply shop <laughs> wait till you see the <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> what you may be noticing, before I tack, I do a weird touch of the surface of the material with my tungsten. Now it's not because it's a lift start or scratch start. It's because my high frequency on my um, thermal arc 202 welder is broken. I don't know why it's broken or how, how it broke, but you can see the arc that should be coming from the tungsten to your workpiece. That high frequency um, electric is, is happening inside the machine. So hopefully I can get it repaired under warranty. If not, I'll be back out there shopping for a new TIG welder. So finally, this diamond, I can close it up and put some tacks on the last pieces. It's not lined up perfectly. I, yeah, like I said, this delicate type of work isn't for me. So I've done the best I could. And you know how in the back of your head, you know you can always hide things with welds. And I knew I was gonna be grinding these welds down. So yeah, I thought to myself, let me hide it. When I was welding this, I was um, concerned about the heat buildup inside this material. I knew that it was thin, so I weren't, too sure about the amps the power so I knew pulse was going to be my friend so I'm welding at 85 amps on pulse and I'm just leaving the wire there and I'm moving over it and the pulse is taking care of business the pain is 
inside, I don't wanna feel it So I pour up inside my cup and I just sit till I can't feel it I know it won't solve my problem, but I know it makes a difference One more sip and I'ma face it Out my body when I'm tempted I told her one more and she hit me, say you quit in my imagination, I was laying down some sick beads, but looking at the video, I never knew how much my hand was shaking. It's um, a learning curve with this TIG, but what it made me realize, it was fun. Oh, it was really fun. Normally, I'm, I'm MIG welding and it's dirty, it's loud, I'm dealing with heavy pipe. It was nice for, for an afternoon to just sit down, hold a nice light cup, just relax and TIG something together while making a YouTube video as well. I actually, I actually like filming YouTube videos. I like um, running through the different angles that I'm gonna do, how I'm gonna edit it together. This was a joy to do. And also, any opportunities for me to get time under the hood TIG welding, that's what I naturally wanna move on to. It's the only amount of time until I'll be doing TIG welding, whether that'll be pipe or stuff like this or anything really, but MIG is nice. It's not something I want to be doing forever, so my natural progression will be to, to do some TIG welding. All I ever wanted was some millions. All I ever wanted was some children. Then I got four of them kids and now we chill on. Nothing's real. I don't want to feel it. So I pour up inside my cup and I just sit till I can't feel it. Second rookie mistake of the day. First time I run out of gas. This time here I went for lunch and I switched the gas off and um, forgot to turn it on coming back. As a MIG welder coming over to TIG, I find it so relaxing. I've met a few TIG welders that come over to MIG welding and you lot hate it. You're so used to... Um, just the easy life of TIG welding compared to the dirtiness of MIG that it stresses you like that. For me, it's, it's relaxing the other way around. TIG is, is a holiday for me. It's so nice. Hopefully, I'll be um, editing my stainless steel TIG welding video that I made oh, a while back now. I haven't, haven't got around to doing it. I think it's been a couple months. So yeah, that will be probably the next post, a stainless steel video. But back to the video. So you see I used a fine linishing pad to clean down the welds. And now I'm using some kind of hard scotch pad to, um, to clean up the welds. I've got this blue one and then a grayish brown type of one. Progressively polishing it finer and finer. So it was time consuming. That would be an understatement to say it was time consuming. Um, the polishing part of it took forever. The material kept on getting hot, so I had to keep on dipping it into some water, and I just worked my way down. The finish on its own with them two pads, yeah, with a bit of consistent grinding, you could, it would be acceptable. The problem is because there's so many different angles on it, it will be hard to, to make it look consistent. So that's why I moved over to this polishing thing. I bought this from Amazon. I think it was like £10 for, it was for alloy wheels. And I bought some kind of polishing compound. I had no clue what I was doing. If I needed to use water or not, it, it helped using water, but really had no clue. The grinder was underpowered. so. That's why I settled for just polishing one side. Plus, I also ran out of time. And I, um, I wanted to get this video out for you guys as soon as possible. So, this video is wrapping up. I want to thank Ricardo for sending me over these kits. So fun to weld. So, if any of you are interested in buying one of these yourself, I'll put a link to his website in the description and also his Instagram. Go follow him. He's got some cool content out there. Real inspiration to me. But with that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you lot in the next one.